students welcome to ms classes so today we will discuss the section c and section d of isc 2020 physics board paper so let's start with question 13 show that intensity of electric field e at a point on the broadside position is given by this so this is a diagram where we have taken minus q and plus q which is separated by 2a Later we will replace A with L as given and this is the point P where we have to find which is lying on the Brodon side position where plus 1 coulomb charge is kept. So like this you can see we can find the net electric field along vertical and horizontal direction so that the net electric field is coming P upon 4 pi epsilon naught R square plus L square to the power 3 by 2. Question 14. A paddle plate capacitor is charged by a battery which is then disconnected. A dielectric slab having dielectric constant K is now introduced between its two plates in order to occupy the space completely. First, how the capacitance gets affected? Now the new capacitance that becomes K times of the initial capacitance. So it means that capacity will increase by K times. The potential that will be reduced by k times and the potential energy that is q square by 2c because q remains constant in this case. So as you can see that c is increasing therefore the energy will decrease by the same factor. Question 15. Across this we have to find i1 and i2. So this is the circuit diagram. According to the Kirchhoff's rule I have like taken the plus and minus sign as you can see across the registers and the cells. So if you take two loops say E F A B and D E B C and if you apply the Kirchhoff rule you will get two equations. The first equation that is 14 I1 plus 8 I2 that is 3 and the second equation that is 2 I1 plus 4 I2 is 1. So after solving all these two equations we get I2 as 0.2 ampere and I1 as 0.1 ampere. In an option, this question is given. Uh, first, when the jockey J does not touch the wire AB, calculate the current through AB and the potential gradient across AB. So this is the first case when the jockey is not touching. So we can omit that circuit. So here you can see that 1, 7 and 8 all are in series. So V that is I into the total resistance which is 16 so that I is coming 4 by 16 which is 1 by 4 ampere. Now across AB that is KL which is I into R where R is 8 ohm. I is 1 by 4 length is 2 meter so that K that is coming 1 volt per meter. And the second part when no current is withdrawn when the jockey is in touch so E is equal to KL. E is 1.5, K is 1, so that L is coming 1.5 meter. Question 16. For two thin lenses kept in contact with each other, show that 1 by F is 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2. So here you can see the two lenses are kept in contact. So this is how we draw the diagram and do the derivation. So 1 by V1, V1 is the image for the lens L1, which is the object for the lens L2. So if you add both, you get 1 by F as 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2. Question 17, A part. A compound microscope consists of two convex lenses having focal length 1.5 and 5 cm. When an object is kept at a distance of 1.6 cm from the objective, the final image is virtual and lies at a distance 25 cm. Calculate the magnifying power. So for objective lens, we know 1 by VO minus 1 by UO is 1 by FO. So if you just use a sign convention and put the values, we get VO as 24 centimeter. We know M that is MO into ME. And if you put the value, we get 90 where negative sign shows that the final image is inverted. Or in the Young's double slit experiment, the screen is kept at a distance of 1.2 meter from the plane of the slits. The two slits are separated by 5 mm and illuminated with monochromatic light having wavelength 600 nanometer. Calculate the fringe width and the distance of 10th bright fringe. So as we know that beta is lambda capital D by small d where lambda is in nanometer so we have to convert this. Capital D is 1.2 meter and small d is 5 mm. 
So if we solve, we get 0.144 millimeter. And the distance from the center of the 10th fringe is 10 beta, which is 1.44 millimeter. Question 18. Draw the energy level diagram of the hydrogen atom and show the transition responsible for the absorption lines of Lyman and emission lines for Balmer. So for that, you can refer your textbook and you can just get a rough idea about this uh, rough diagram. But you can get the exact picture from your textbook. Question number 19. State any one difference between energy band diagram of conduction and that of insulator. In the insulator, energy gap is very high, that is uh, greater than 3 electron volt approx, whereas in the conductor, it's almost 0 electron volt. Second, give a relation between alpha and beta for, for a transistor. So alpha that is beta upon beta plus 1 or beta you can write alpha upon alpha minus 1. What is the advantage of an LED bulb over the filament electric bulb? That LED bulb, they are extremely energy efficient and consume up to 90% less power than the other bulbs. Section D, question 20, A, first part. A 400 ohm resistor, 3 Henry inductor and 5 microfarad capacitor are connected in series to a 220 volt 50 hertz AC source. Calculate the impedance and the current flowing through the circuit. So here as we know that Z is under root XL minus XC square plus R square where XL is L omega and X is 1 by omega C so that if you put these two values and the value of R which is 400 ohm in the formula you get 503 ohm approx and I is V by Z, V is 220 and Z is 503 which is 0.44 ampere. Second part draw a labeled graph showing the variation of impedance of a series LCR circuit versus frequency. So this is a graph of Z versus F. The first part where an alternating EMF is applied to a series LCR circuit, current flowing through it is this. What is the phase difference and the average power? So here you can see the phase difference that is this minus this which gives pi by 3. And the average power as we know is EV IV cos phi where V stands for the virtual value which is E0 by root 2, I0 by root 2, cos pi by 3. So E0 and I0 we can get from this. E0 is 310 and I0 is, I is 5. So if you put these values, you get 387.5 watt. Second, they have asked to write the relation for the resonating frequency. So from here, you can get the resonating frequency 1 by 2 pi root LC. Question 21. First part, derive the expression for the refraction at a single spherical surface. So this is a diagram where the object is kept in radar medium and the image is formed in denser medium. And after solving which you can refer from your book, you get this expression. Name the phenomena due to which the sun appears reddish at sunset, that is the scattering of light. B first part, draw a labeled graph of intensity of diffracted light versus the angle theta. So this is the graph. Second, state the law of malus. So when a completely plane polarized beam from a polarizer is incident on an analyzer, the intensity of light emerging from the analyzer varies as the square of the cosine of the angle between the plane of transmission of the analyzer and of the polarizer. How will you distinguish experimentally between ordinary light and the plane polarized light? So ordinary light that travels in all the direction where in the plane polarized light, that component travels in a particular direction. So if you just put a polaroid in front of the ordinary light and the plane polarized light, you can see that will allow only one component to pass through it. Question 22. First part. In a semiconductor diode, what is meant by potential barrier? It is a region within a force field in which the potential is significantly higher than at points either side of it so that a particle acquires energy to pass through it. Second, draw a labeled circuit diagram of a Zener diode as a voltage regulator. So this is the required diagram. Third, show with the help of a diagram how will you obtain an AND gate using only NAND gate. So using NAND gate we can get AND gate. Or first part draw a labeled circuit diagram of a transistor acting as a common emitter amplifier. So this is a required diagram where the left side is forward biased and the right side is reversed biased 
and they have asked what is phase reversal so you can see the phase difference of 180 degree because of this common emitter transistor that is called phase reversal where we get the you know reversing of the phase at an angle of 180 degree second part draw the symbol of nand gate and write its truth table so this is the required symbol and the truth table so i hope all the questions of section c and d are clear to you all in case if you still have any doubt please comment in my comment section thank you